All right, we're recording. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Tessa Linden, joined by Tiana Jarrett Williams of Tiana Williams Photography. Tiana's based out of the UK, so it's really special to speak with her today. Um, how's it going over there, Tiana? And yeah, just tell us a bit about yourself and how you got started in photography. Um, thank you for having me. It's really lovely to get to speak to you and obviously share a little bit about my journey. Um, so we've been open for a couple of weeks now. We reopened on the 12th of April and um, it's just been a bit crazy, actually. I think people have kind of not been able to do, you know, celebrate their pregnancies and their babies in the same way that they would, you know, with their family and friends. So, you know, everyone's kind of trying to get in and get photos last minute. And it's really hard to like try to squeeze everyone in. And um, I guess I've been a little bit guilty in the sense that I've like said yes to a lot of people when I probably should say no, so I could have a break. Um, but it, it's all good. It's all fine. I've missed it. So it's okay. <laughs> exactly. Right. You feel so bad for those people that have missed out on those milestones of their lives over this whole situation. So you're going to be doing uh, two classes with the APMPI Academy, um, a master class called Maternity Inspirations, and a mini series which is all about lighting, um, creating a very gallery using light, which I think is a really interesting spin on that topic. Um, why don't you just tell us a bit about the Maternity Inspirations master class first? Cool. So the masterclass is pretty much a kind of, I would say a whistle stop tour because I could probably spend all day talking about how I shoot maternity. Um, but it's just about kind of trying to be unique and be different in the way that we shoot our maternity clients um, and trying to, you know, explore different ideas. So I talk about a lot of, you know, where my inspirations come from. Um, and, you know, it, it's, it's really easy to kind of get sucked into doing what you see on like social media mm -hmm. and what other people do. And we get sort of stuck in our own kind of world, our own genre of like maternity. And then we do things that are very similar. Um, and I try to kind of look at, you know, I, I'm often inspired by fashion. I was um, just going to say, yeah, your, your work has a very fashion editorial look to it, uh, which for maternity is so beautiful yeah. that you're, it's it's about more than the maternity and more than the belly in my opinion like when I look at your work that's what I think there's like obviously it's a beautiful celebration of that time in your life but there is really an art to it what you're doing and, and it definitely you can see that fashion and editorial inspiration yeah which I just I just love it because it's so different and there's always something different I'm doing because you know, you can just play with things, just try new things. And if it doesn't work, it's fine. <laughs> and if it does, great. It's working, <laughs> Tiana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I just, I love it. It's, it's good fun. And, um, you know, our clients trust that we're going to do something amazing for them. Mm -hmm. and, different, and that's what they want. Like, they love seeing, you know, what everyone has, but they're like, oh, I really want something, <laughs> something different. Yeah. Um, and I think that my the way that I kind of use sort of my inspirations from like fashion and, and beauty um, in maternity gives them that. So I'm excited to share that with everyone. I think it's, that's it's going to be a great course because it is such a unique approach to this maternity subject. And um, definitely you do end up with very unique images and even um unique for the person too. Like I see a lot of personality coming out and things that are very personal probably to them and their imagery. So I think that will be something that's really fun to learn that journey and that process and how you achieve that end result and you know what's required to get there. So that's fantastic. What about the uh, all about lighting class? Now that is dubbed as a mini course, but pretty sure anybody that knows anything about lighting knows. <laughs> It's a big topic. <laughs> what do you cover in that class? Lighting is a massive topic. It's huge. And I can't even say that I know everything about light, but I'm going to be sharing how, you know, different ways to use your light to create different images. Um, it's a little bit about kind of stepping outside of the box and trying something new. Mm -hmm. um, because again, as I said, we kind of 
we find like our lighting style and then we stick with that which is absolutely fine but it's also really cool to just say you know what let's do this because it it's going to look great and they'll love it and you'll be so proud of yourself for trying something new so it's just trying to kind of flick those switches in our heads to say oh you know what I'm instead of going to instead of using my light this way I'm going to put it here and I'm going to try this different modifier and this is what we're going to do um so it's just to kind of inspire others to try new things. Uh, modifiers, I love it. <laughs> it <can be> scary. <laughs> scary. Even I find them a bit scary sometimes. I know. I've owned grids for about 12 years that I rarely even touch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am guilty of buying grids and then not really using them, but then kind of finding a way around use it without using them and still getting a similar look so I'm like oh uh, yeah no <laughs> you, you can definitely though in your work see the various light setups that you do and how you've used it to sort of again add that personality and that personal touch to your sessions so um with the mini class it is it's broken down yes mm -hmm. okay how many components can people expect to learn and sort of what are they going to get away what are they going to walk away with from that class so the mini class is um, five different ways that I've used a light. So I'm trying to remember them all now. <laughs> uh oh, I know, right? No um, pressure. So <laughs> the most, one of the most popular ways to um, light our clients is that we use, you know, a considerable size softbox and we feather the light. So I do show that in there because it's one of the most common ones. But then I also show how to use hard light, which is often a no-no in portraiture. But right, I yeah really well um i've shown in there a little bit about backlighting and using high key because again i love like backlight and high key this is beautiful <laughs> but um i just show how i use that for you know my clients and although it can be a challenge kind of figuring out the settings i feel like in those classes they're really easy to pick up and easy to follow i'm not technical at all so there isn't too much jargon in there so hopefully it should be really cool for everyone to follow on and um just have a try and see how they get on i love when a course is broken down and then there's like tangibles and little things that they can walk away with and it sounds like if you're approaching it um like week one you do this or episode two it's this that gives the the audience an opportunity to try those skills out in between classes. So um, I think that's it's a great pace, especially for such a big topic. Mm -hmm. What excites you about photography right now? Other than all the work you have to do at this very moment. <laughs> really Being able to sleep, sleep excites you. <laughs> um, I guess oh, I just I just love it. It's just fun. Um, I'm always trying something different um, and it's just exploring. And I think there are rules, but break them because then you might find something that you like. And if it works and if that is the effect that you're going for and you can, you know, convey that in the image, then it's great. Um, and also if your clients love it, then and you love it. Brilliant, because ultimately that's what we want happy clients and we want to be happy as well with the work that yeah. we do so um and what uh what would you say is one thing you wish you'd known earlier about photography lighting maternity or just in general um in general. how big of a topic it is <laughs> <laughs> i think when i started i wanted to try and do everything which i guess is good because how else do you find out what you love to do and what you don't want to do anymore right um but there is just so much and it can be overwhelming um but it's okay to just sort of take your time and figure things out your own way and you know don't be afraid to sort of like ask people um you know be nice obviously and say you know like this is great I would really love to learn more about that could you point me in the direction of um you know right. where I can find out more um because I think it can be scary when you see in groups and you see like the photographers that you admire and you aspire to be like because I still have that and I think oh gosh I can't post in here people might think I'm crazy or something <laughs> but it's fine generally people are so lovely and they're willing to help so mm. asking questions is perfect and then you know asking for where you can find out more but also um there's so much you can learn on you know online 
which is perfect. So if you don't really have like a huge budget to start out with, because I didn't, um, I spent yeah. a lot of time on YouTube and you know some of the more affordable classes just to get started but most importantly try it because I think sometimes you can get scared to actually do the work and then it doesn't help with solidifying that learning process um and I'm guilty of that a lot I watch a lot of videos and then I don't do <laughs> the, the work and then you kind of get stuck I'll, like, usually I will like if it's editing for example I'll watch and do at the same time because I don't have the attention span yeah. to <laughs> necessarily watch the whole video this sounds terrible but I just want to get to like the meat of it right I just want to get into like where is it going what are we doing and then work on that so I do like to just dive right in there watch along when you can I mean there are certainly times when you can it wouldn't be appropriate Definitely. with a client <laughs> <laughs> but in your own free time <laughs> yeah honestly and one of the things that I did recently was I got like a mannequin just like one that you can put yeah. a dress on but that was really handy to just try techniques I mean I know it doesn't have a face and you can't kind of check the lighting patterns properly you know when you're looking for the like the butterfly lighting under the nose for example sure um but at least you've got something there that you can just practice with and you know you don't have to feel like oh my gosh they're gonna think um there's something wrong with me because I keep trying the same thing you know it's a safe environment to just have you're a go. moving the light like one inch over yeah that make a difference and they're like pretty sure it doesn't <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so even if you don't fancy doing model core having a, man a mannequin there that you can actually like put a dress on it as well <laughs> and just have a play and um just try it that is my like biggest takeaway I think is to just have a go because um you know I think that's where the best part of the learning happens you know we can watch and consume so much content online but then doing it and seeing how it feels and how it looks in real time for yourself is the best way Agreed. I, I'm a big proponent of sort of the try everything. Um, it sounds, I mean, again, obviously admirous of those photographers that come running it straight out of the gate with a clear vision, know exactly what they want to do and achieve it right out, the, right out of the gate. And it's like fantastic. But I think there are so many of us that try this and try that and, and see where, what we like and how that fits us and, and then go from there. Good job. Um, so with the, uh, the masterclass, the maternity inspirations, let's turn back to that one for a moment. Uh, what are students going to walk away with when they take that class? So they're going to walk away with, um, I guess ideas on how to work with clients. And we talk a little bit about like posing and, you know, I try to, although I do use some, you know kind of what I would call maybe standard maternity poses you'll see how I work with the clients because sometimes they might do a pose that isn't necessarily maternity but it looks great mm -hmm. and it's okay to use that um and again you know you'll get to see what like one of the the um, models that I'm working with she's just so fun <laughs> she's great but I work with that because that's her and mm -hmm. you know I think that's really important to try even though like we have our own style and way of working that to kind of really pull out their sort of personality into their session it, it really works well and I think it makes it more fun for both of you so and I, th I think it definitely shows through in your work you can really see that um that each image becomes a unique, as unique as the person that you're taking the photo of. So, um, sounds like you have some really fantastic classes lined up and fun. So <laughs> it's always great when you can make something, especially like maternity, which can be intimidating to people, especially the posing and the lighting. I mean, mm -hmm. both of those, or even just the idea that you can have something beyond maternity, like a maternity image that isn't just a maternity image, I think will be really fantastic and fun to watch and see how that comes together. And then of course, lighting, the tangible that everybody really should get their hooks in and figure out what they're doing there. So really looking forward to those. So once again, um, your classes will be the Maternity Inspirations Masterclass and the mini series all about lighting, creating a varied gallery using light. Love varied galleries, <laughs> they really help you build your portfolio and sell your work as well. 
so good tangibles there. Thank you for joining me today, Tiana. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you for having me. I'm, I'm so excited. I can't wait for everyone <laughs> to like start watching and sharing and learning. And I'll be more than happy to kind of comment and share and help. Yeah. Out. And the APMPI group is definitely the place where all of that can happen. So I encourage everybody to hop on there and start sharing their images and lovely to meet you. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. Have a great day. Thank you and you.